Do you like taking photos? Of course you do. Without a camera, your phone would basically be a cat picture slash porn machine. Not together though. Do not search that up. Now over the years, I've taken quite a few pictures with my Canon that I'm pretty proud of and some that I'm not so much. Now I use my Canon 70D for the majority of all my pictures and videos. But I have to admit, pulling out a big DSLR for any opportunity to shoot something can be quite troublesome. And I believe the best camera is the one that is always with you. And with something as simple and as cheap as a smartphone lens kit, you find yourself getting a lot more use out of the camera in your phone. Now, like I said before, these are pretty cheap unless you go to the Apple store, which you should not because their prices on these lenses are ridiculous. Now what you want to do is go to say Amazon and search it up lenses for smartphones and you find lots of other affordable choices. I decided to go with the brand called Vixing 3-in-1 lens for a smartphone. The reason why is that the, the attachment is basically like a clip that just clips on the top of your phone even with the case if it's thin enough it doesn't get in the way of the clip and the lens is already big enough. Uh, so I wanted something a little bit more inconspicuous to attach onto my phone. Now all of these lenses will offer you a 3-in-1 deal. You get a fisheye lens, a wide-angle lens, and a macro lens. Now for the macro lens, I got a 10 times macro lens with this deal, which offers a lot of definition to the pictures that I've taken. I have a few Game of Thrones buttons, so I've taken a few pictures of those, and they turned out pretty cool. For the wide-angle lens, I got a 065 times no distortion wide-angle lens, and that is a very important part. Look for a no distortion wide-angle lens. What happens is a lot of these lenses, around the edges of the frame, you start seeing uh, a lot of blurriness and distortion, and you start losing a lot of quality in the picture. And if you want to avoid that, you're searching for a no distortion wide-angle lens. And last but not least, the fisheye lens. Now with the Vixing, I got a no dark corners fisheye lens, which is very, very good. The majority of these fisheye lenses have a dark corner feature around the entire frame of the picture, and you lose a lot of the picture because of those corners. It looks more like you're looking through a peephole other than a fisheye lens, and, it, and it's, just, it's just bad. Uh, so I'm very happy that this one doesn't have that. I actually ended up using a lot more of the fisheye lens than the wide-angle lens because it would just encompass a lot more of what I'm trying to shoot and at the same time I don't get any distortion, no dark corners. It's just I think the best feature in all of the three lenses for this brand specifically is the fisheye and if you get it you find yourself using it all the time like I do. As you can see from these comparison pictures, there's a huge difference once you start using these lenses to include a lot more into the frame of your pictures. And hey, anything that keeps your hands away from a selfie stick gets my vote. So yeah, if you want to up your smartphone photography game, check it out and let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time.